New sightings still coming in as police investigate what happened to a missing mother of two in Montana. Eva Mason Prather seemingly walked off into the pre-dawn freezing temperatures in Missoula, Montana, just two days before New Year. Her husband frantically discovering her disappearance and the fact that Eva was not dressed for the conditions. And now her two young children are being sheltered from the storm as her husband waits for word. And a close-knit community is desperate to determine where is Eva. We were so young, it seems like. With the joy of his spirited children in the background, Dave Prather can still muster a smile while looking through his family's scrapbooks. I don't know, they've been buried away since we moved into town, I think, so yeah. Despite many a dark day since his wife disappeared. Given how little we know on every single day, I just think Eva's gonna walk through the door. Prather thinks Eva walked out of the door of the family's Missoula home sometime between 1 and 6 a.m. on December 30th without any winter clothes and possibly even barefoot. He says the 43-year-old was struggling with an episode of psychosis again. I would describe as like a manic episode um, for quite a few days um, leading up to that. She, she had a previous history. It was extremely cold, um, so that's concerning. So this is the area that we had done. Missoula Police's Whitney Bennett explains officers responded immediately to the neighborhood, noting a popular bike path nearby leads downtown and continues along the banks of the city's Clark Fork River. Cameras from homes and businesses in the area turning up nothing. The community has been amazing. Um, you know, small town, when you hear mom has gone missing, it's it's huge. A break the next day, a barefoot woman spotted at the Holiday Inn downtown, fitting Eva's description. She's given a bowl of warm soup before she wanders off. It was well over 50 people. Um, I think it was closer to 70 that, that night um, uh, running around. So we, we covered a lot of ground. Um, and uh, it turned out the lead that we were chasing was it was a mistaken identity. Neskis called Eva a friend for more than a dozen years, bringing them close, children the same age, and a shared love of farming. My name is Eva Mason. I'm here today to talk about seed screens. Eva's incredibly quiet, but not in a way that feels closed off. Like she's super open and you can see like just she's really tender. A mom herself, Katie, aches for Eva's husband and two children, just 10 and five. Before I even talked to Dave or anyone else, I'd I made the assumption that it was mental health related, um, and then it turned out to be that way. I was just imagining myself in Dave's shoes and having my partner be missing, and I, there's nothing more terrifying. From an hour outside of town to the Missoula airport, it's hard to move around the area without being reminded Eva is still missing, a community effort that's aiding police. And even within the last month, we've received reports of sightings of her and our detectives division is following up with everything we get. Dave keeps Eva's home office untouched, fighting to stay positive that the sweet and gentle mother can shine again. So the seed screens make it possible to clean 100 bed feet and so it's easier to streamline the process you know, we're still in the hopeful phase very much, and um, we want to find her. If she needs space and doesn't need to be here for whatever reason, like, we want her to know that's okay. Um, we want her to be, you know, we care about her. Um, the kids love her so much, and um, we just want to see safe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.